Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, we ended up having a really halfway decent day here. Temperature wise, uh, 64 I think today is what we hit. The sun did come out, the batteries are at 100%. So super happy about that. And uh, so this video right here, um, actually today is Monday the 26th of February 2024. Uh, this video will go up tomorrow, Tuesday, at 3 o'clock. So, take you over here real quick. We'll take a look at the chickens. And then we're going to talk about the topic. Uh, chickens are doing well. So, by the time this video comes up, um, everybody will know. Um, well, I have a private live stream Monday nights. So, those people will know. Uh, we had three eggs today. And uh, no for the white hen today. So, I have to... I still got to go in, I got to change out their water, upgrade their food, get that squared away. I still need to get in and clean out their box too. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that today or not. Uh, I'm going to have to see. Might not happen today. I might do that tomorrow, but I got to upgrade their water and uh, their food. I do have to do that today. So now they're all out. The, the black hen must have been like, oh, I'm going to bed. Wait a minute, he's out there. Does he have something? <laughs> no mealworms today, ladies. No mealworms today. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> we just, so Taiwan had their presidential elections. And since the election, this was the first time that we have approved another arms deal with Taiwan. The United States selling arms to Taiwan. Um, this marks the 13th time that we have done so under the Biden administration uh, with Taiwan. Uh, you know, and, of course, that angers China because China's claiming. And, see, this is what kills me. So you have the people of Taiwan go, no, we've never been under Chinese rule. We don't want to be under Chinese rule. And yet China claims that Taiwan is theirs and that they're going to take Taiwan back whenever they see fit. And as long as we continue to, again, poke the bear, if you will, uh, you know, they're not going to be happy that we're arming Taiwan, which is obviously very close to China, and uh, forging a, a stronger relationship uh, with Taiwan over that situation. But, uh, you know, we are realistically the only thing stopping China from taking Taiwan back. I mean, that's a fact. Um, that is a fact. So, um, if it wasn't for us, probably Taiwan, the entire Philippines, and much of the land in the South China Sea would all be under Chinese rulership right now. So, uh, you know, I know that uh, right now they're sending uh, a, a, quite a large carrier group over to that area and because uh, China keeps amping up things and, you know, and like I said, uh, you know, they, they have voiced their displeasure with us selling weapons um, to Taiwan. But uh, I just... It, folks, it's it, in strictly again. This is strictly my opinion. I do believe it's just a matter of time before we are at war with China. Uh, China has now has the largest navy. We used to, but now China does. And maybe our some of our ships are better, but uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of our ships are outdated. And China has a lot of the smaller ships that they've been banging out um, with a regular basis and stuff like that. So. Uh, you also, with China, have an aging population, which, you know, that was not wanted to be talked about because of the one-child policy. Um, it greatly hurt China as far as people went. So their population is aging, and there's not enough young people to replace, uh, you know, the ones that they have lost. And so that's why they've changed that policy, and they're now allowed to have more than one child. But for how many years was that policy in place? And that's going to affect things no matter what. So that's something to think about as well. But uh, so interesting situation over there. But, uh, you know, China is not happy with the fact that we now have, like I said, under the, for the 13th time um, under the uh, Biden administration, have sold weapons to uh, Taiwan. So 
it'll be interesting. It's something to obviously continue to pay attention to. Uh, again, we have sent uh, quite a large carrier group over, or it's on its way over into the region. And, uh, you know, we've already re-established uh, our relationships with the Philippines. The Philippines said, hey, you want to reopen bases? Okay. So, you know, because the Philippines also know uh, that we're the only thing stopping the Philippines from being under Chinese rule. So, it's an interesting situation over there altogether, and China continues to, you know, play their games. <coughs> we continue to play ours. Um, that's something that's been going on for quite a while. And I have stated before, when you have the two biggest bullies on the block, eventually they will clash. Um, and I believe, honestly, that it's just strictly a matter of time before that happens. Don't even. You stay here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Helen. Uh, anyway. So. But, yeah. It, uh, you know, interesting things are happening. Again, we continue to need to pay attention to everything that's going on. We don't have a great deal of control over what is going to happen or how things are going to break down. But again, what we have total and complete control over is what we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I think that that is something that uh, needs to be paid attention to or needs to be watched um, and taken care of and take care of the things that we can control. Uh, what can you do to put yourself in a better situation for when the time comes when things get ugly? And I honestly do believe it is strictly just a matter of time before that happens. And, uh, you know, and I think so many people are going to be like, oh my God, I didn't see that coming. And whatever it is, whatever it, it's going to be, um, it's going to be unpleasant no matter what. Um, that's a fact, <laughs> you know. So uh, what we can control, do what we can do, take care of our business, take care of our families and our, our people that we care about. Um, I think that's really, really important. So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of here for now. I definitely would like to hear your feedback on this video. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. We have to stop letting them divide us using race, religion, political affiliation. All that is nonsense, means nothing. We have to come together as human beings, and I think that's the important thing. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you are going to be just fine. Take care of your business, folks, and do what you got to do, um, and you'll get there. All right? Have a great day. I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.